Right guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Brandon from Shore Fisherman UK. Today I'm fishing with a pal. We're gonna fish the skeleton arm again. Hopefully for a PB, so I'm not targeting numbers today. I just want one nice sizable place to take home and eat. Nice calm northerly today, so the sea's flat. Should be a little bit of clarity there as well. Uh, it's been rough for quite a few days. So I'm gonna be using the rigs from Gavman Shore Rigs again in this video. Caught plenty of place on them in the last one. So I'm happy with that. I'll drop a link to his Facebook page down in the description box. And in the previous video, there is a giveaway uh, for six of his rigs, various rigs. And you can win those just by going onto that video, dropping a comment and leaving a like on his Facebook page. Now, the skeleton arm looks nice and empty. Uh, we've got it very early on in the tide just to secure a decent mark, get the tent up just in case it rains. We'll get set up guys and we'll see you later on in the video, hopefully when we've got a decent sized place on. So guys, a little bit windy today, nothing to worry about. Just going to get my gear set up now and get cast in, hopefully get some fish on. Um, it was about this windy last time I was down here actually and it was a, we, had, we had some pretty good results. So, I'm going to focus on getting my baits in the water now. And, uh, hopefully we can get some fish on for this video. And, uh, we'll see what happens. I've got my mate Louis with me today. Um, so I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with a nice place to take home and eat for dinner. We'll just have to see what happens. So I'll keep you guys updated and let you know. bait on guys all i'm going to be using for my baits today guys is squid tip offs uh, with little bits of black lug so i've got some unwashed squid here i'm just going to make sure you guys can see i'm just going to cut some strips uh, not too big nice and long though just like that that's one that's two make sure they're not too thick because they are just scrape it back um, get the guts out the inside then we've got our two first tip off baits done and then I'm just going to get a couple of worms uh, I'm going to hold them in my hands for a minute that's just going to defrost them a little bit that should be enough and this one will go in half because it's quite no do I want to put that on whole as well we'll just do we'll just do whole worms to start the day and see how that goes uh, that's that guys there you go there's our first couple of baits ready to go on what I'm going to do is make sure my worms are not block frozen otherwise it's just going to snap when you put it on the hook um, over the eye of the hook down and then pull it over the shank um, and then come out make sure your hook's nice and proud uh, that way when the fish takes it that hook's going to be in we're just going to grab our tip off bait and then we're just going to thread that on uh, just once that's it and then same again guys Go through the thin end of the worm. Bait on there, just like that one. 
Now we wait. Gonna get a big bait in. Uh, probably a mac will fill it. Just down the side. Uh, see if we can pick anything up that way. Louis stolen the tent, that's it now. <laughs> Just gonna put a pulley panel on this one. Do you not see the no smoking signs? So yeah, this is just a pulley panel that I've made up. Um, a little while ago. So I'll just stick that on. I think it's got a uh, 5.0 or 6.0. So we'll stick a probably good sized chunk of mackerel on that. Uh, get that out down the side. Might stick it in the river mouth. Kind of glad we bought the tent now, otherwise our stuff would be blowing all over the place. on I'm getting really bad spasms in my hand today. Right, let's see how we fill it out to stick on that. I'm not going to cut bait in the tent. Oh, actually, do you know what? For a minute. whole squid. Uh, see if I can take that. Get one of these guys on. Nice and quick to bait up these. Don't even need bait elastic. Do it a certain way. And then I can just lob that wherever. And I hope something takes it. Nice rusty hooks. Line feels average at best, but um, feeling a little bit lazy today, so I'm just going to go.
get my hands cleaned off. Not so much having dirty hands that bothers me, it's having like greasy, oily hands from the squid. Uh, that's what bothers me. Oh, we're getting this caught on everything. Not gonna clip this down, guys. Just gonna pop it out. Uh, see if someone picks it up. Aiming to get it in some deep water. Not too far out either. That'll be perfect. Yeah, nice one. That's smart, isn't it? There. there you go guys whole mackerel no sorry whole squid uh two worm baits on flappers tipped off a squid see what happens i don't think we're going to be getting anything today if the guy on the um that boat surfing keeps flying over our lines it'll just scare the fish and they'll go somewhere else we'll see what happens hopefully we can pick something up just pulling in first set of baits uh left rod came back clean so I'm pretty much assuming that this one will too. Just gonna get some fresh worm out, um, cast onto the same sort of ground. And now I'll probably bait up every 10, 15 minutes uh, if they're coming up completely clean. Probably lots and lots of crabs down there munching them up. So some fresh baits will get these out. And hopefully some fish will start to show. The squid that I just put out, see if it's still there. Probably just recast it back in if it is. Feels like there's a crab or something on it. Nothing on it and bait's still there, awesome. So we'll just get that straight back in. Maybe I'll stick it in a slightly different area. windy today hopefully you guys can get I get some pretty good audio from the video sometimes I'll drop a bait just down there just down in that little mackerel fillet or, or, or a bit of squid just leave it floating around down there sometimes pick stuff up get a lot of bass in between the coins Nothing to be, to be especially excited about yet. Uh, no bites or anything, no movement. Just gonna keep putting fresh baits on, just seeing what happens. Waiting for bass season to start. I've tried a couple of times, but nothing worth really putting on YouTube other than when Peter fell over. Um, I had a little session in Southwick and a, and a go on the reef again and nothing so uh, but I didn't really get enough footage to do an upload but I'll be down there again 
hopefully in the next few days trying out either some bait um, or some surface lures see if there's any about yet as soon as that happens with a bass I'll upload it but for now we're just floating around doing a little bit of some bobs fishing for place might target some rays on the weekend just have to see, see what happens alright well, let's check our big bait as well of wasting that is I'm just going to put this to the side and we'll make tip off baits out of that no point wasting it yeah it's just a it was a whole squid but there's no point um no point wasting it. exactly it, yeah. it's fine for tip offs try a bit of try a little bit of mackerel Good bait elastic. Yeah, mine are popping up as well now. We'll get that on. There we go. It's about the size I like to use. Uh, to bait that up on this pulley panel rig it's going to go through the top once come out of the mackerel try not to break it and then go through again come out again spin in the hook that way you don't break it and then pretty much one last time just pull it up Pull that tight. Yeah, mate. Pull that down, and then with this one, we're gonna go through the top of the bait, come out somewhere about kind of falling apart, but we'll make it work. No, nope. this is gonna be a messy bait. Here, and I'm going to wrap them up a little bit so I don't want to mind, guys if the bait's falling apart because that's what the bait elastic's for um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this up now and just tidy things up a little bit holding it all together not my tidy, not the tidiest bait I've ever made but it will do the job try not to use too much bait elastic on it um, and then we're just going to go up to this second hook and put a bit around that as well just slide that bait elastic up and over if we can bag came from I've just had it for ages I think I basically got given it here yeah, lads this is a I think it's about four to six ounce yeah. I've caught this this rod is pretty much um, like a good luck charm for me 
yeah. got like a ridiculous amount of bass on it but it's a what i think it's about four to six ounce and it is a surf rod so it's perfect for sea fishing yeah. it's not brand new and some of the eyes are missing the ceramics but it works mate and it's good good caster you can have it it's taking the piss aren't you no, you can have it, mate. Really? I've got I've got new rods anyway, and um, yeah, you get yourself into sea fishing. That'll at least get you started and get you something you can cast from the beach with. No way, that's brilliant, mate. I mean, your carp rods are good for here, yeah. but that on the beach will be perfect, and it is a good rod, mate. And you can really, you can chuck that as hard as you want it, and yeah, it will no, just. I'm really thankful. Actually. It will cast a six ounce and a whole a whole mackerel if you wanted it to. Yeah. So you so can have that, mate. Use it today. Yeah, well, like I've got, well, that, you see that I've got one of those gripper lengths on, but it's, I'll put it on this one in a minute. Yeah, I mean, if you're worried about casting the six ounce or whatever ounce you've got on there on that, yeah. use that. And it's got really good, it's continental as well, so it's got good bite detection. Yeah, honestly, thank you so much. It's all right, mate. It's all right. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. So Harry's just started sea fishing, um, how long, about a year? Yeah, well less than that. Carp fisherman, uh, freshwater fishing, he's into that. Um, he wants to do a bit of shore fishing, I've just sorted him out of rod to use. And I'm just tying a tape of shot leader onto his line, because his carp line, which is only about 15 pound. Um, so I'm going to get this on for him, I'm going to show him, uh, teach him a little bit about casting and see if we can get some power in his cast so he can get out there nice and far when he's doing the shore stuff um, with the rod I just sorted him out with so all I'm doing now is just tying a, a 15 pound to I think it's 70 pound shot leader um, with a double blood knot that's the easiest way to do it hopefully it doesn't break because that'll look quite nice you can just come Always remember when you're fishing just to keep your line with your stick in your pocket or something. It's alright. I've already got a pocket full of line. Right now, if you pick that rod up, start reeling. I'm going to cut this before it gets to 70 because the 70 is really thick and quite hard to tie knots with. Go on, mate. Keep going. Keep going. So I'll tell you when to start. Right, stop now. Much thicker than that. There's your rig here, yeah. You see that line's much thicker now. So yeah. when that, when you when you bang it out, it ain't just gonna snap. That's got loads of abrasion and resistance in it. Just gonna put that on with a fisherman's knot. Oh, have you gone around the wrong way? Yeah, I think so. It's quite easy. Fix. Just yeah, you should just be able to spin it. Spin it the other way. Do you want to take it off like that? There we go. There you go. You've done it. All right, sweet. We'll call your end. No one's had any fish yet. There's quite a few rods in and nothing showing. Right. If you come over here, I'll help you there. Yeah, you can ask me if you pass the rod in for a minute. I'm gonna go over your edge with mate. When you cast, there's a bit of where you're about to build that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know the bail out shut the bail oh, showing you. When you cast, your right arm, your right arm here, have that out nice and straight. Straight on, and as you do that, 
that you should just break it. It's If mine are, that's, that's. If you keep your arms straight and then like and then like lean over and, and lean over and like throw into it. Yeah, but the thing is, the So you see your these two fingers yeah. in there, and then your top finger like that, yeah. and just the tip. You only want the tip. You don't want your whole finger over like that. Otherwise, most most of the time it's gonna it's gonna stick and it's just gonna come down and bang, yeah. and you could break the rod. So always just use the tip of your finger. Tip my fingers. Up. And you want your I'll clean my hands after. You want this baby finger under here. Oh, under this one. And then these two fingers down. Yeah. And then close and use the tip of that finger. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Bring it. Straight arm on it. Yeah. Straight arm and just move it to the base. Make sure you let go with your finger when you're ready to let go. You should get a bit of power for the weight. First one of the day. It's a flounder, isn't it? Yeah, it's a flounder. Is it a flounder or a place? Yeah, it's a flounder. It's a flounder, yeah, definitely. It's got Never no bony ridges, it's more triangular. No, nah, it is a it's a flounder, isn't it? That you can yeah, feel flounder. it. And it's fighting like a fucking nugget, that's definitely a flounder. What's of this one that you can keep? Pardon? What's the thing that you they need to have? So you, can keep uh, you could take that, but flounder aren't very nice, mate. Uh, around what? here, they're really muddy tasting. Are you serious? So yeah, you, you could take that. Me. But um, what I always do is just feel it and feel if it feels fatty. Yeah. If he feels fatty, then take him and eat him. But he, I don't think that would taste not a fish that I would take to eat. The difference, that's a flounder. Place would have really bright orange spots, like really, really and bright. They're rounder. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a flounder. They're not as nice tasting. But um, what's so wrong with the orange spots? Have the orange you, you can you can put that back if you want. And if you want a place, if it, if I get one, I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna eat it. So I can I'll give it to you, and you can go home and eat it if you want. But um, I had only one fish from here. I had a eel. It was like seven kilos. I caught it there. Seven kilos. Seven kilos. Come on, oh, bloody yeah. freeze it. Still here. Oh, yeah. Conga. yeah, conga. Yeah. So what did you catch that on? Just black black lug on a yeah. on a flapper? Is that a two flip yeah, a two flapper? Definitely a Show him to the camera quick. Yeah, nice. And he's gone. actually had two really good bites and I was fiddling around trying to get the cameras on and lost them. So next time I'm just going to hit them and then try and get the cameras on so hopefully we can still get the footage for you guys but I'm losing a lot of fish because I'm trying to get the cameras on. So yeah. And it's cold. What we got then? What what is the prize? Whatever it is, it's swimming. Yeah, it's fucking swimming the opposite way. Oh, nice flatty, mate. Oh my god. That's the place. Right, bring him in. Go on, get him in, get him in. That's a fucking place. So that's the difference between a flounder and a place, guys. The fl the, the place. See the orange spots? And it's a lot more rounder. Yeah, that's a dinner fish, mate. That is a dinner well fish. Well done. Uh, no, do you want do you want this one for dinner? Yeah. Yeah? All right, gonna get them unhooked first. These guys usually deep hook themselves, they like to swallow the hook. Well I got a way of I didn't even hooking. know he was on there, I just went to change your baits and he's on the bottom at bottom hook as usual. Um, if you put him on the floor, I'll get the hook out. I'll show you guys how to get the hooks out of him as well. He's still fighting, isn't he? 
think a lot of people don't bring dig orders with them when they fish so this is a way you can do it without damaging the fish now I'm going to get the hook I'm going to pull it through the gill see that's the bottom of the hook there I've got the line I'm just going to push the hook towards his mouth now I was old I was young and there you go I was Hooks sitting out. in the sun I was tired of the run I was done Life was great Life was hard In a way an awful card You can't win The losing hand But the rain stopped falling And the line on the floor was crawled Is it, a, is it the three it's pound a place that we've all been looking for? If it's a crab, you're going in. No, it's definitely not. I feel it's like the bike was too strong for the crab. Language, dude. It's going, going on YouTube. Nice. Second one of the day. Also deep hooked. They like to munch in that bait, don't they? Oh, well, Brandon, it's your chance to show people. So that one's actually a little bit bigger than the last. Lovely colours. I'd like a fish now, please. Yeah. Oh, do you want to for me? I do. Show the people how to do it. Should we do it again? The only thing I don't like about the place is that they like to swallow. Have your baby finger in his mouth. He's quite angry actually. Doesn't want to open up. There you go. Yeah, to find the. I'll tell you what, we'll show you another way. Instead of grabbing the hook, try and get the line. That's it, get the line around your finger. And then pull the line through. And then pull the line down. See, now we can see the hook. Now we can push the hook up and out of his mouth when he opens it. There you go, hook's out. No damage to the fish at all. Should we put him back? Always try and release some head down. That way they go up straight into the water rather than if you look, try and get him. See? Guys, that's it for today. We're going to pack away now. It's been an alright day. It's nice to get out. And um, I'm sure you guys would have enjoyed the video. Well, I hope you have anyway. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, we're on a thousand subs. We're really, really, really close now. It's been amazing what we've managed to accomplish in just two months' time. A thousand subs already. It's pretty awesome. So thank you to everyone who's subbed. If you're watching the channel and you are enjoying the content then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and turn notifications on so you get all the updates and stuff when i put my videos up and yeah just generally guys thank you for everything been awesome thanks for watching